Like it looked like a parrot, like a parakeet. It's already falling out. So today we're in the corner of my office because my entire apartment is so messy. This lens has gone through it. I can't figure out my hair and it's just bad, so it's in this clip. I don't know what it looks like, but I know it's definitely busted. It's okay. Also, my voice. Basically, I have no idea. I have no idea what happened to my voice, but I'm not sick, so that's good. I have been singing a lot lately, very loudly. So we're back again for another reacting to Endless Summer. Last video, I feel like there was just not enough tea. There was not enough juiciness, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit more rich. I didn't know this was red. Kind of vibing with it though. Let's finish season one. So I guess let's just get into it. The titles of the episodes are so funny. I love it. Because these shows would get placed in the news section of Snapchat. You know, like the most toxic, endless news section of Snapchat where all of the headlines are like, can Summer handle all this spilled tea? Summer hates Dylan's new ink and it shows. We'll get there. Adore drama, binge watch this. I would, I would click on it. <laughs> Excuse me, episode seven. Has your crush ever done this to you? That's what it's called. If you haven't already seen the other episodes, I'll link them in the description box. Go watch them if you want. Golfing bros. My mom and sons. You know how they haven't spoken in over a year, right? Why? What's up? They just. Wait, is that true? We hadn't spoken in over a year. The problem with this is that my memory is absolutely terrible and i wish it weren't but anyway right. sam's outfit versus so zach's outfit singing. golfing so have they like tried to like communicate recently directly no. his form no life's too short to hold grudges yeah so sydney and zach on a to, date like, have you like ever had like a thing with him oh my goodness i don't know why everyone thinks that you never were like oh dylan's like cute i really like him everyone thinks Dylan's cute but you've never had feelings for him I mean, he's like been my brother since we were five. I want to hear it. No, I want you to sing it to me. In this, in front of that room. Sing it. I forgot about this scene. Okay. Um, no way. Am I away? See all the colors wash the world in fears. This is supposed to be like really sweet, and I think it is. <laughs> but it's also kind of uncomfortable. That's really cute, though. I don't Why for me? Oh my gosh, did they kiss here? Oh my gosh! I have some tea there, but it's not my tea to share. Behind the scenes, they were like not, they did not have a thing. Enough drama this summer, and I wanted to get everyone together to squash it. To squash it. I don't want you to ever feel that way, that like, and I don't. And I don't. This! Sydney and Zach. He like did something behind the scenes that like made her be like, uh uh. And then they still had to film this. I don't remember what it was, but I am excited to watch this. She said, It's good to see you. He said, Yeah. Okay, that one was kind of boring. Let's go to the next episode. Have you been texting her? No, we haven't. I've been like kind of just like feeling weird about everything. Yeah, you gotta tell her everything. You don't wanna leave her on. Just really rock, ro like, really rocking with this short sleeve but, sweater. Uh, there's this girl who's been talking a lot. It's just like something that like I don't want to regret. Why didn't you tell me before? It just wasn't anything like super serious before. So she knows then. Yeah. That we were talking and then we kissed and we went on a date. Well, like I didn't like to talk about everything, but I'm sorry. Just doesn't care. It's fine. So then I look for an apartment. I look for an apartment. It was actually the one of the production managers. It was her apartment, and we just acted like we were looking at one. And you looked at apartments, and I just figured that's where you want to be. I just looked at apartments because I was thinking about it, and I just wanted to see, you know, if, if there was anywhere that I would even want to move. Obviously, I would talk to you and figure it out with you before I did anything. I just wish you told me, because it just makes me feel left out. Yeah. I, like to, I like to know these things, because it matters to me. I mean, it's about both of us. I mean, it's it's our relationship, and if I did, I have my family here, I have everything here. Actually, I think this was a real thing in our relationship. Right now is like the perfect time to do whatever we want to do, you know? Yeah. We're like only 19 and- Yeah, but what do you think this is- I was 19. To us? I'm gonna be at school full time, and I'm not gonna have any time to come and see you. 
Well, maybe sometimes we should just focus on ourselves and do what we really want to do. And if we work out, then we work out, right? I gotta get ready. I feel like I've screwed everything up. LA. <laughs> So I wrote her a letter. I actually did. We actually delivered this to her. This is like real. I don't know if they're home. I don't want to run upstairs. They're home. I actually did not know that she was coming out. And I don't know if the producers did that. Or what? Don't, don't look, don't look. It's such a toxic situation. That was so set up by the producers. 100%. There's no way that would have just happened. And then she drops it off, mission accomplished. Then I met Dylan at the park and my outfit. Here's what happened with my outfit. We had to film this scene the same day as some other scene and I was wearing the outfit from the other scene and I only had this skirt in my car and so I put on this skirt to make it look like a different day and then I didn't have a different shirt and so I took someone's shirt and that's what this outfit is it is such a weird outfit but this scene we were supposed to meet up with Dylan's mom and have a conversation but when we got there Dylan's mom called Dylan and she was like I'm not coming and it was like a whole thing it was like a big blowout of a conversation she just straight up didn't come and she was like mad about something it definitely had to do with me but oh the letter that's what made her mad. I don't remember what I put on the letter. Okay. Hi. Episode 11. She doesn't want to talk to me. She's not ready for any of that. She feels like I am on your side. You don't have to be on either one of our sides. This was a real conversation. About both of us. I remember this. Everything just keeps going backwards when I think it's actually making progress. It's I was like crying. This doesn't affect us and I'm always going to be here for you. And hopefully she'll come around, but until then we have each other. That is so tender. They edited that to make it look like it left off on like an uncertain note, but that was actually a really good conversation that like ended in a good resolution. But if that ended in a good resolution, then the next scene wouldn't have made sense because I think we were like fighting in the next scene. There are so many ads. This is the last episode. What was my reaction? Why is that my reaction? What was, why? Was I mad at him? Why was I mad at him? I remember there were so many people like DMing me and stuff like, you're kind of a bratty girl, like you're a mean girl, you're like dramatic, blah, blah, blah. And now I understand, because that's how I look. We need to talk. We need to talk. What's going on? What do you mean? I'm so confused, you're going on tour with Zach? It's not that big of a deal, I'm just going for a couple months. It's not that big of a deal? You didn't even talk to me about it. I mean, it's tour. Like, you would be leaving me for months, and I didn't even know about it. Kind of going off the back in here. I just confused. What's going on? I don't know how I feel about you moving to LA either, so... Yeah. Not the butt and the floral blouse. I'll just talk to you later. Me crying in the club. My quads were popping. I look so mad. What is this? Sadness. It's been a week now, and I still haven't heard from Summer. That would have never ever happened. I don't think that happened once in the two years that we dated. I totally forgot that this was like part of the story. About where I belong, who I can trust. Maybe some journeys never end. That's how it ends? Very interesting. Well, that was season one. It was really sad. There was so much drama, but the next season is where things get just kind of messy, but it's more entertaining in my opinion. I kind of want to watch the first episode of season two and, and see and see what this holds because I know this one's a lot. Here we go. <laughs> I also gained 15 pounds from season one to season two. I don't know where in the timeline that happened, but I did. And I was so self-conscious. Like, yeah, is this Ryle? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Season two was so much. That actually like put my mental health through the ringer. Filming this season 
oh my gosh, I was at a very low low. And then the response after season two was like uploaded. Oh my gosh, it was gnarly. We finished season one with season two is a lot to get into. Like the video if you want to watch me react to season two and give you some more behind the scenes. I hope everybody in this show is doing really well and everybody who is a part of the show too. I hope y'all are doing well if you're watching this. Text me. That's all for this video. Subscribe if you're new. I post every week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.